Hi, my name is Quentin Nossi, a partner at Everdeen. So Everdeen is a digital transformation company where we build and develop apps and do a lot of tech refreshes for companies that may need it. So my first book um, I chose was The Outlier. I think when 10 years ago when I moved to China, one of my cousins got me with this book actually. Uh, about outliers. Um, so events happen in people's lives at different stages in their lives where you know you get to perform your best. Um, so this Malcolm, Malcolm Gladwell is the author of this book and it literally just shows in different people's lives whether you're born in this year or you're born in another year how lucky you are because of circumstances that are actually just upon you. So I think for me what I took out of that book was you know me going to China, learning Mandarin and doing all those kind of things would give me a performance, you know, um, an event in my life that will actually help me grow. And it helped me grow quite a lot. Uh, the second book is an audio book for me, um, the Will Smith, uh, his biography or his memoirs. And I think that guy went through quite a lot uh, on his journey uh, with his uh, previous wives and his current wife and everything. And just the way he narrates the story and tells about the story and how, you know, his dad, uh, he calls him Daddy-O, uh, you know, how they lived and, and, and how much he impacted him and his life. You, you kind of forget and you see people on, on television and stuff, but they, they're human beings and they've gone through a lot. So I think it's one of the best audio books I've ever heard, basically, yeah. He narrates it very, very well. The stories, the music, it's, it's really entertaining. I think what I took from it is never give up. I think that's the real truth about it. Um, and, and, and how circumstances also in, in his life where he took the chances that he needed to take. And he wasn't afraid not to take those chances. Uh, there's a part in the book where he talks about how Quincy Jones was just telling him in front of everybody at the, at the club or the party that you're going to audition, sing here. Yeah, you know, if he didn't take that opportunity because he was scared to do it, um, a lot of the stuff would have never happened for Will Smith. So I think, um, you know, for me, it teaches me that uh, you can take the chances out there. One of my biggest chances was, like I said, uh, China was a big chance for me, I took it. Being an entrepreneur now, it's a chance that I'm willing to take and I'm taking that chance as well. So don't be afraid, go ahead and do it.